number one. To uncover the most extreme animal myth, we need to take a trip to the Arctic tundra. This is home to the most maligned creature in the countdown. It's the lemming. For years, people have believed that swarms of these small rodents commit a spectacular form of mass suicide. This strange instinct defies all logic. Like people crowded in cities, the lack of privacy seems to drive them to aggression. Suddenly, they can't stand their neighbors. And in an effort to get away from it all, they begin to run anywhere, as long as it's someplace else. And for many, it leads to disaster. But do hordes of lemmings really throw themselves off a cliff to drown in the sea? Or is this the greatest man-made myth ever? It is true that every three or four years, in some regions, localized populations of lemmings will drop almost to extinction and then just as quickly rocket back up again. Nobody knows for sure what causes these surges, but when a colony starts to become overcrowded, lemmings hit the road. These mass migrations spawn the myth, because in peak years, thousands of lemmings do spread out to find new territories. But they're running to get away from intense competition, not to self-destruct. Each lemming needs up to two acres of tundra to call home, and they won't find it by jumping off a cliff into the sea. So where did the myth come from? We have to travel back to the 1950s, where a film crew was making a documentary on lemmings in Alberta, Canada. <laughs> They filmed a migration sequence by placing lemmings on a snow-covered turntable. Then, to add a little drama, they went outside and herded the lemmings towards a cliff by a river. Contrary to popular opinion, lemmings don't really throw themselves off cliffs. Thanks to the filmmakers confusing mass migration for mass suicide, lemmings got stuck with reputations as mindless automatons with a death wish. But nothing could be further from the truth. It's not the lemmings that go over the top. It's humans that are willing to believe any tale, no matter how far-fetched. That's why, 
When it comes to animal myths, the lemming really is the most extreme.